every one of us gets 24 hours to work every single day but even though we start with the same why is it that there are two kinds of people clark kent and superman well the answer is pretty simple it's how they manage their time let's imagine a scenario where you have 24 hours out of which six hours you sleep and nine hours you waste you have now have nine hours to do absolutely anything that you want to do in the world the superman people actually organize their time and the clark kent people don't and the way this time is utilized actually makes all the difference so let me tell you how i try to make a good schedule and manage most of my time using it hello everyone my name is anuj i'm a second year mbbs student at gmc nagpur and thank you so much for joining into my channel namaste and let's begin let us start from the start okay so before you want to make a schedule you just want to know what are your goals for this month not longer than a month but just this month because if you know which direction you're running and where you want to actually go your motivation for running will be different than if you did not know what you were running for very simple so before starting to make a schedule just point out the goals that you want to have achieve in this month for me it could be like reading 400 pages recording so many lectures or recording four or five youtube videos which add value to people's life and this is what is called as having a bird's eye view so what a bird's eye view allows you to do is that it allows you to see where you want to be and then it allows you to see the difference between the future you and the self you within a month and the schedule that you're going to make is going to bridge this gap which is present in between so that the current you becomes the future you and the cycle starts once again this is my bird's eye view it's what i want to achieve in a month and when you're writing the list for the bird's eye view do not forget to mention the things that revolve around your life apart from academics it's things like having fun with your family things like the number of movies that you want to watch the number of series you want to complete the number of books you want to read it should be ideally where you want to see yourself in the next month and so that you find this gap the future you and the current you and then you can bridge this gap very easily because now you know where you want to go also don't forget to mention all the fun things that you're going to be doing in this schedule now point number two is assign appropriate time intervals for the completion of a particular task. So let's say you want to do eight chapters of pathology, four of pharmacology, seven of micro. So you should know what amount of time you will require to complete those particular chapters by yourself. That brings out another point is knowing your caliber. Because you see, you, you're going to see many YouTube videos where people will be studying pathology for like entire days and pharmacology and microbiology and maybe that may depress you. Assigning time based on your caliber is very important. Do not compare yourself with somebody else. You are the best and you should know it. After knowing in which direction I have to go, I plan out what days I will do what so that whenever I want to make a daily schedule, I have a basic idea of what that day should look like. You've written so many things in your bird's eye list, right? But some of those things are much more important than other things. So focus on them first, that is prioritize and categorize. I usually like to divide my list into three types of goals, the primary, secondary and tertiary. My primary goals usually revolve around studying a particular unit from any book, making and filming amazing YouTube videos and doing other stuff which involves living life. At this point, you're ready to make a schedule. Let's start. Okay, so let's make a schedule. Primary, secondary and tertiary targets also divided into work, study and socials. The primary are the most important ones. Secondary and tertiary follow the same. Here the micro symbol represents microbiology. It's better to make a schedule this way because the time estimate schedule never actually works because the time always flows whenever it wants to. So you have 24 hours in one day if you are still on earth while watching this video and if you sleep for 6 hours then you still get 18 hours in a day. Out of those 18 hours if you are doing absolutely nothing for 9 hours then you still have 9 hours of full productivity which you can utilize to basically do anything and 9 hours every single day is a lot. It's what people do in these 9 hours defines who they are and where they are going. So make sure you use these 9 hours very very carefully. And the biggest chunk of this 9 hours is consumed for me by academics. And academics is very important and that should 
at least take up 50% of this time that you're giving every single day. So 4.5 hours of academics and the 4.5 hours for other things. These 4.5 hours, you have to divide it between active and passive things. Active and passive things in academics means reading is a passive. Active things can be like solving clinical cases or like solving MCQs. So that there's a mixture of both. You're not just reading, 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 reading and forgetting. There's a, there's a, there's a thing like you're reading and then you're retaining, reading and retaining. So this is what you want to do in those 4.5 hours. The next 4.5 hours I usually spend doing two things. One of them is socials and one of them is family. So those are the basic points on how to make it. Apart from that, it is entirely customizable and by you. And definitely you can come up with better things than what I've said in this video. So now let us move on to the second part of the video. That is how you can actually follow the schedule. See, everyone sets their goals for the day in the morning after they wake up. But many, many of the people, they don't even complete like 50 or 40 percent of what they are setting for themselves. The reason is a the task which they have set for themselves is unmotivating that means there is no short term yield as compared to the long term yield of that particular project and second thing is they have a lot of distractions so i'm not saying i don't have this i i, I fail to complete my tasks most of the times but nowadays i've tried to not fail and it has worked really really well so the first thing i'm going to focus on is actually removing distractions the biggest distraction that any one of us has is this a mobile device in our hand which is slowly and slowly eating away the precious time of our lives and the time is limited so yeah the first thing is get rid of your phone like no matter where you want to keep it just keep it and don't touch it see there are various apps that you can use to like decrease the amount of phone and screen time that you're getting but the most important app lies in your brain and that is willpower the more you actively reduce the amount of time that you check your phone the more easier it gets as time passes by like make a particular time interval ki okay only on this particular hour i will check my phone it definitely gets easier i mean i don't usually do it every single day but i try to do it at least two or three days a week and i have one day which i call no phone day where i don't see my phone at all there is an app a program rather called as zen mode i'm using this uh, zen thing since a long time and i just put in like seven or eight hours of zen mode every single day so that has significantly reduced the number of times my brain urges me to pick up my phone to look at so many notifications that are already there that definitely helps in the long term it is well known that phones are decreasing our attention span so yeah the less number of times that you pick up your phone the better it's going to be apart from that you can just shut off all the notifications and then you know uninstall apps and stuff like that but still the most important key here remains to the willpower which is present inside here another reason is that people overestimate themselves sorry but it's true and they just write 25 things in their to-do list and of course it is not possible to do all of them in one single day so they get demotivated in between and they stop it so like know your caliber very important and then set your goals according to that even if they are low work getting done is better than work getting not done so yeah make it appropriately and have two things mixed together have fun parts mixed together with work parts that means uh, if you're working for three hours, then give yourself a break for one hour. Intermix work and intermix life in between. So that you're not all working, you're also working plus enjoying life at the same time. Lack of motivation is the biggest cause of schedule failure. Is that people are striving towards things that are not motivating to them. For example, currently I'm working on a big project. I lose motivation very frequently. So what I've done instead of my desktop wallpaper being flowers and all of that, I've just changed it into a scene of the Eiffel Tower. So that's motivating me a lot to keep myself busy working. So yeah, these are the small tweaks that you can do. People say that after watching study with me videos, uh, they feel very, very uh, motivated. So if you feel like you're not able to study properly, head on over to the playlist study with me and perhaps that will help. A question that every one of you keeps on asking me is how do I keep myself motivated? And the reason is I hate wasting time, but also don't let the videos fool you because there are so many times that I don't feel motivated but it's a part of life. My next point over here is to keep track of all your activities. And what I mean by that is that just have a notebook which has all the things that you did for that particular day summarized in a short format. In the end of the day, when you will see and you feel like you are not so productive as much as you wanted to be, 
then ultimately the next day you will be feeling guilty and you will work extra hard to fill that gap and of course since you're working so hard every single day don't forget to reward yourself with anything that you want like a movie or a series or a chocolate cake maybe so yeah that would just keep you more motivated towards reaching that final bird's eye view at the end of the month many times we feel like after studying three or four days very very hardly we feel like the next three or four days there is a kind of will exhaustion where we cannot find the will to sit down and study that happens to everyone and instead of just forcing yourself to get down in the study chair and sit at that point take a break and allow that break to be for like one or two days it's okay to take a break for two days if you have studied hard for like three or four days unless you are like preparing for a really hard competitive exam it's fine and the last point i want to make here is that after you have watched the video like 50% of the people won't even apply all of the things which i've talked about but the remaining 50% people who will actually go and work for this it won't just happen very spontaneously like this it will try it will it will take time for you to build up the activities and slowly and slowly you will start to notice a change in your life when you are gradually progressing towards who you want to be at the end of the month so yeah it's a chronic suffering if you are once into it then try to be in it forever so that you can gradually get better and better every single day and my last point is that if you are feeling will exhaustion every single time that you sit and do a task and not able to complete it i want to tell you is that to build your mind to build the willpower which is present over here you need to build your body so building your mind comes from building your bodies and the more exercise you do the more physical activities you do the more enduring activities you do the stronger this mental will gets and the stronger it is the more endurance you have to do daily life so yeah with that being said i hope that this video added some value to your life and thank you so much for watching this video and if it did please hit the thumbs up button it really means a lot to me and that's a small contribution for you but it's a really really big contribution for me and yeah if you like this video perhaps check out some of my other ones you will like them too i hope and yeah please subscribe to my channel every single one of you matters and i have my love and respect for every single one of you so yeah thank you so much for tuning in and stay safe stay healthy and stay happy until next time i will see you soon